Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, I want to show you one of the new Google Forms add-ons that can be used to limit the number of responses or automatically close the responses to your form. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already created my sample form here. Just a one-question quiz. Who's going to win the World Series? Well, let's go to the add-ons and say get add-ons. And the add-on we're going to use is called Form Limiter. And you can see it's right here. Uh, you can also do a quick search for it and search add-ons if it doesn't pop up as your first uh, row of choices. Let's click Free. And you do have to authorize it to do a lot of things on your account. And now it's going to load. And so on the right-hand side, we now see Form Limiter. You can also see it here. And we'll say Set Limit. So we can set our limit to be a date and time. So let's say I want to have all my responses to this quiz done by 10 o'clock this morning. I'll say Date and Time. And we'll choose my date. And we'll choose my time. And let's just say we're going to have it at... 10 a.m. There we go. And we'll set that. And I can put in a little message and say that this form is no longer accepting responses. And I can have an email sent to myself when I'm ready. And then I'll just click Save and Enable down here at the bottom. You may have seen that we can also set a limit based on the number of form responses that we receive. So let's say we're using this as a form to sign up for classroom volunteers. We might say we only need 10 volunteers, the first 10 to sign up, and then after that we'll close the form. So let's say max number of form responses. And we'll say 10. And then save and enable. So you can see there I've combined the uses I have uh, a time, and I have a number of responses. Again, that add-on is called Form Limiter. You can find it in the new Google Forms add-ons menu. For more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.